And now I'd like to turn it over to Lisa. Hello, good evening. I'm so happy to be here. And like, I would do this over and over and over and over again. Like, like I owe Dr. Ross and Dr. Ditsa literally my life and they are angels, they really are. Um, I will start by saying that I was a little older when I went, I was 44. Uh, I uh, went in 2013, I was 44 years old, and it wasn't even about sex, it was about me having a normal gynecological exam because I was beginning menopause. <laughs> so um, let me backtrack to the beginning. I was raised um, in a Catholic strict um, family, went to Catholic schools, and uh, of course, you know, sex and puberty was not spoken about in my, in my family. And uh, so I heard locker room stuff from my girls from middle school. I went to middle school from fourth to eighth grade with the same girls. And so, yeah, I would just hear what everybody was going through. And that's how I knew uh, about uh, puberty. And all I knew was if you got your period, you get pregnant. That's it. Had a period, you get pregnant. And I was like, oh, yeah, no, no, thank you. And uh, yeah, so uh, I was pretty young when I had my period. I was in sixth grade and I remember uh, like it was yesterday that I had it and I rode my bike up to 7-Eleven, didn't tell my mother, uh, went and bought sanitary pads. And I remember the lady behind the counter going, you know, do you know how to use these? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. And she kind of told me, which was really weird. So I rode back home and um, yeah, I had my period and I was like, okay, now I can get pregnant. And that was like my mindset. So uh, in high school, I had a couple boyfriends, but literally uh, I didn't really was interested in sex. So that wasn't really on my radar and um, never had, was able to use tampons. I always use pads and never had a gynecological exam in high school. Never even thought about it. So uh, when I was in my 20s, I had a roommate who uh, had sex, and I literally remember she was so detailed in it, and I think this is where my vaginism, my fear came from, was it was this horrid, like blood everywhere, it hurt, and literally I felt like I was going to pass out, like I had to leave the room, I couldn't even hear it. And I think that stuck in my head was pre getting pregnant and it was terrible and it hurt, you know, hurt. And it was just a nightmare. So, uh, yeah. So everything was just dandy. I didn't really date a lot. And then when I became, uh, when I was 25, I had met uh, this gentleman who was six years older than me, JP. He had been divorced and uh, had a child. And uh, of course I'm a virgin. And so he was kind of hesitant. He's like, oh, you know, I've had virgins before and, you know, it's just not, you know, something that he enjoyed. And so that was another thing in my head again. Oh my God. I'm like, what's wrong with me? So uh, needless to say, things got a little uh, um, intimate and uh, we fell in love and I had him have a blood test for diseases. That's how like freaked out I was about the whole situation. So he had a STD test before I would even let him come near me. And um, once that came back, we tried to have sex. And literally, he couldn't even get a finger in me. Uh, we tried to have intercourse. I was uh, lubricated. I was excited. I, I wanted it. And when he tried to um, penetrate me, it was literally like a wall, like literally a brick wall and it hurt so bad. And yeah, I, I was like confused. I'm like, okay, this is kind of weird. And um, we tried again and he was really patient with me. And then, so I was talking to a coworker and was telling her about this. And she goes, why don't you go see my daughter's gynecologist, make an appointment. And I'm like, okay, you know, I didn't really want to, I was scared, but uh, I made an appointment and it was a female gynecologist. And I remember her trying to examine me and she couldn't get near me. And I was very anxious and crying and like, she would yelled at me and told me to calm down and stop being a baby. 
and like I need to grow up and you know that was it walked out humiliated cried went home and told JP that um you know I wasn't able to get examined and I don't know what's wrong with me so I was very very lucky to have him um, accept me as I was and we lasted five years never got married um and I just kind of like at the end of four years together, I just decided that, um, I told him, I go, you know, you can like have sex with another girl, you know, like I, I can't give you what you need, but if you just use protection, I'll let you know, you can do that. Cause I loved him so much. And we would had oral sex. That's what we did for the, like the, our whole relationship. And it was healthy in that way, but again, you know, no penetration allowed. And so I just ended up, I ended up just like ending the relationship after five years because I knew that I was broken and I remember going to a bookstore and I went into the health section of the uh, bookstore and I read the little little tiny sentence and this is back in 1999 it said vaginismus and it was a like short little paragraph inability for penetration tampons and penis and I was like wow okay well that's odd like I think that's what I have and just kind of put it at the back of my mind. And then um, in 2000, I started dating another guy after I had broken up with JP. And I told him that I wasn't able to um, have intercourse and I have a problem. And so this is when computers were just starting to come out. So he typed in um, the word vaginismus and he goes, well, there's a book called Private Pain. Um, it talks about that. And I'm like, oh, okay. That's interesting. And then he said, there's a center in, in, in New York that treats this. And I'm just like, okay, I just put it behind my head, behind my thing and ended up not having a successful relationship with him. So I stopped dating and became a workaholic. And uh, fast forward to 2010, I was in therapy for my mother's passing. And at the end of our session when it was over she had asked me you know about my dating life and I said oh I don't date anymore I haven't dated in like 14 years I can't have sex I have an issue you know and she's like huh and so she recommended a sex therapist and so who uh said that she they were able to uh cure vaginismus and she's done it before so I happily was very excited about that because I really just wanted to have a gynecological exam. You know, that was just the main purpose of my, uh, what I really wanted to achieve. Uh, not having children, you know, it's like, well, I'm in my forties. I'm not going to ever have children. Um, that's not going to be possible in life. And so, uh, of course she went straight to, were you abused? Were you molested? You know, I'm like, no, I wasn't molested. I wasn't abused. I just don't know what happened, what's going on. And uh, she's like, well, have, did you ever try to drink, you know, wine and have a bath and light the candles? And I'm like, I tried all of it. It doesn't work. So um, she actually made an appointment with her gynecologist and she went with me and we set out a two hour uh, session and she uh, was on Xanax, was got medicated. She did the sound therapy, she had music. And um, I remember sitting on the table and uh, for two hours, she tried to examine me and it just was not gonna happen. It wasn't gonna happen. And I could see kind of the frustration of uh, Dr. Letzo, who was my sex therapist and the gynecologist. And I was just like, I can't, I can't do this. And so I ended up buying that book, Private Pain. And then I ended up going on the Facebook uh, group and it was kind of like incognito and I was kind of reading all these stories and I tell you that book private pain like I it I could have wrote that book like the stories and every scenario that was in that book was me like that was me and I was remember just being in tears and I had had highlighted and I read it over and over and over again and I just decided that um I'm gonna call after listening to all the ladies on the Facebook page and the sex stories, and I read the videos and there was a MTV um, special, which one of the lady speakers, uh, past uh, patient who she'll be speaking um, did. Um, and I watched that and uh, I made the appointment and I went in October, 2013 at age 44. 
And two weeks later, I was cured. And a week later, I went back to that gynecologist and had a thorough examination and I was in and out in 15 minutes. Literally, it was like a piece of cake. And I was just like, oh my God. And I called Dr. Ditsa, Dr. Ross, and I told them and I felt like I was just, I accomplished something that I had lived with my entire life. And it was just amazing. <sighs> Sorry. It's okay, Lisa. So, <laughs> just to, to be that old and, and accomplish something. And it was just, I, yeah, it just was the most amazing feeling in my life. And um, so, yeah, so I was able to have gynecological exams without any problems. And then at age 46, two years later, after being cured, I met a man and had sex for the first time at 46 years old. And I didn't have to go to therapy. I didn't have any issues. It was just like riding a bicycle. Like I was couldn't believe that I had waited all my life to achieve this. And yeah, it was literally the best thing in the world. And um, I encourage anybody to uh, who doesn't think that they can be cured, they can be cured because I was that person that went in there freaked out you know I was a mess when I went into the women's therapy center and I left not wanting to leave and I left with the family and there's not a year that goes by that I don't speak to them and uh yeah and I'm very thankful for my my experience and thank you so much Thank you so much, Lisa. We really appreciate it. And Lisa did a video. So if any of you want, uh, Dr. Dietz has posted it on the chats. So please look at it. And if you come to our office, we still have the shells you painted, mm -hmm. Lisa. Oh, yeah. yeah. And there's and so we... much fun. You can go to the beaches <laughs> on the weekend and you can go, go to New York and shop. It's not just all medical. I mean, you have fun. It's a lot of fun there, believe it or not. Good. Well, 